Hallo, people. Hallo, hi, people. Goedemiddag. Good afternoon, people. And that's just about the gearbox. I stripped the BA7 four speed gearbox. Now, it's, it's about a bit worn, this casing here. As you can see here, the oil is going to leak out there, out of here. And so it did. No oil was in this gearbox. That's why I opened it. But there's nothing wrong with the gearbox inside. Normally, I check the gears. And the gear, gears are fine. The rotor is recht. Nothing forget with the rotor. Is of van deze ratkas, nothing wrong with the gears in this gearbox. Though there were some water and oil coming out. A little bit, not much. It was empty. Um okay, so I check those springs in there. Normally I check these springs. If it's worn, that one too there, normally if they become worn, then they break. And I had, a, I don't know why they did that so, but the, in South Africa they only had the 2 litre carburetor and the 2 litre fuel injection, a benzene, petrol, uh, gas motor in the 505 cars. Not the station wagon, we didn't have station wagons here, only the car. And they all used the 5-speed BA-10 gearboxes. The GTI 2.2 litre fuel injection motor um, also in the car they uh, all used the BA7 5 speed gearboxes and the BA7 is a weaker gearbox than the BA10 so the weaker engine had a stronger gearbox and the stronger engine had a weaker gearbox why they did it like that I don't know because all the Gearboxes I have here, yeah, BA7 5 speed gearboxes came from GTI cars. And that gearbox came out of a GTI car. That car uh, uh, was a 2 litre fuel injection uh, petrol motor car. And back then, in 1993, I changed it to a diesel. And the gearbox was stuffed. The BA 10 5 speed gearbox. Why was it stuffed? Because this spring broke and it came out of here and it fell between the gears and it broke a few teeth off. So I gave it to somebody. I had to buy a new uh, second hand uh, gearbox, a good second hand gearbox. BA 7 5 speed gearbox, that's the one in there. So then I had to strip an, another 4 speed um, BA7 gearbox to get this pilot shaft out of it. Because the GTI, uh, yeah, GTI gearbox the, has the seal here. And this thing has a turbine, this is forever, the seal isn't forever, the seal starts to leak later on. And these stuff, they never leak. But anyway, so I was lucky to choose the right gear. I, the one gearbox, it made a noise because the teeth didn't match. They must match. I'm with my car synchronous here, right. 
synchronize one another with gears. So I've replaced the one shaft with a seal, with a shaft with a turbine, with the gears synchronizing with one another. And that's going still since 1993, very strong up to today. Still going 100% with a diesel motor. Um, then um, when I bought the uh, GTI gearbox, be a seven five speed gearbox of that for that pickup, the same story happened. I had to strip another four speed be a seven gearbox and I had to strip two of them or three of them to get until I got the right one to synchronize with a plastic gear of BA five speed gearbox. Seven uh, BA seven five speed gearbox. So now that is fine. And then I also bought two gearboxes from a two liter five or five uh, cars. And then the carburetor, two liter five or five car. Two of them, two gearboxes, and they in those two vehicles there. So this pick up there and that five or five there it uses the BA7 five speed gearboxes. And those two vehicles there, they also five speed, but they use a BA10 five speed gearboxes. So the mountings I had to make up to accommodate the gearboxes. Om ek die raadkaste te kom my akkommodeer, moes ek die monterings verander. Daar is een video daarover, um, lang terug van die raadkast mounting, monterings, mountings, uh, gearbox mountings on the yellow pickup and the station wagon. I had to cut the floor out to get the mountings fitted. So, uh, and there's another story about it because this, these well housings, clutch housings, uh, this one is from that car there, standing over there, that 504 DGL diesel there, uh, that's a fenders lying over there. I'm going to cut it up later on with the battery a grinder, there is a pretty grinder. I have enough batteries to cut it up without charging any of them. So, let's see this. There's six bolts holding the clutch housing onto the gearbox, the BA um, 7 gearbox. Oh, now it's just windstorm coming up. Um, right, and now to fit that bell, clutch housing, bell housing, koppelaar behuising, het ek a 10 mm plaat gebruik. Daar is a video daarover, hoe ek dit gedoen het. And there's a video about it, how I done it. I had to build the plate onto the gearbox with seven bolts and then bolted that uh, or a bell housing like that onto the metal plate with six bolts. So um so now is the it's a B, B a seven five of of Four speed manual gearbox clutch housing, bell housing, couple of bays on up a BR10 five speed rat cars, a BR10 five speed gearbox. 
on in that vehicle and that vehicle. They only had the diesel, like the two motor in South Africa, in those cars, GLD, since 1977, late 1977 to 1980. So it's only two and actually two years. Yeah. That's the only time they had them, yeah, for two years. I'd never come across a 1977 model. The most I'd seen was 19. 78 to 1979 and 1980 models. Uh, so they actually they stopped it in 1980, the production of it. Yeah. The diesel pickups, they came in 1972 and they discontinued in 1980. And the 404 cars came out. Not the station wagons, only the cars came out with diesels. XD488 motors so from 19, um, also 1977, late 1977 to uh, 1980. But there were two of the 504 diesel models. There was a, one with a diesel the um, 2.3 liter XD2 motor and there was a one with a L diesel on the back written on the back with a 1.9 um, diesel XD88 motor so uh, that, 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 those were the only diesel purses in this country ever and then later on they started with a new cars but nobody bought them they only sold a few um, diesel station wagons of 405 I think it was with a 1.9 turbo diesel motor uh, but I didn't sell many of them I uh, haven't I, I only saw one or two of them never seen more of them yeah Okay. Um, that's a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. And then here, let's go closer to this. If you fit the five speed PA7 gearbox in this pickup with the original uh, gearbox mounting, then you have to. Cut this out and reinforce it somewhere here yeah, because this radiator must come quite a lot to the front. So, as you can see, uh, it, it came, I brought the grill out a lot, this much. It's a long distance about that, uh, but it's 40 millimeters or so to get the radiator in there. And I had to modify the fan there, clutch here, yeah, the cupola from the uh, ventilator wire. And you can see the owner is by a knob on the, on the, there's a vibration damper and the resonate, uh, resonator. Fully um, to uh, close, close, close by. Right, otherwise, you won't get your radiator in. And of course, I also changed the, this gearbox mounting on this vehicle. This engine is further backward in any case. This wouldn't have fixed my problem here at all, so I had to move the engine backwards. So I changed all the mounting stories about the, the uh, this vehicle, in this vehicle, so you can look at the video about the mountings there. Um, 
it's quite a, a story to change all this bit of mounting stories there. But anyway, it's working. And I can use the vehicle now, so at 100%. Now this gearbox I, I'm not going to use in any case, the springs are good, I can use them in my 5-speed gearboxes later on, and they perfect, the gears in this thing is okay, but the shaft is not good, and you can use the BA7 4-speed gearbox main shaft in the um, five speed DA7 gearbox. Just have to cut some more off here uh, of the shaft, put the sleeve over, and then excuse me, put your five speed um, gears over, over there, the shaft there. Then it will work. This shaft, if the splines are okay, this is not. Good, so it's trash. Mm, that's a bit a, a big pity. It's not good. Right. Mm, okay. Now I say bye bye from this video. We had some winter rain in the summer now since yesterday. So Van gister af het ons winter in gekry in die somer en wat heel vreemd is is quite different from usual so nou sê ek tot ziens van die video sê bye bye from this video ja tot ziens van deze video until the next time, bye-bye, stay safe, bye-bye.